to the horror hour. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Horror Hour, where we discuss, debate, and disagree on all things horror. My name is Yusuf, and I'm back for another solo review because I am introverted. And today we're going to be reviewing Hypochondriac, which is a brand new horror movie from director Addison Hyman. Um, the story is about a young potter, and not potter like potter, but potter like pottery. Uh, a young potter's life develops into chaos as he loses function of his body while being haunted by the physical manifestation of his childhood trauma. We love that. Um, and this movie is written and directed by Addison Hyman. This is actually his directorial debut and a pretty impressive one at that. Uh, and it stars Zach Villa, Devin Gray, Madeline Zima, and many more fabulous people. Um, I really liked this film. I thought it was phenomenal as somebody who... I mean, this movie I just related to completely because it was like a queer person with anxiety who's being tormented by his mom. I was like, oh, my God, tell me about it. Um, so I thought it was absolutely wonderful. Um, I, th I think, you know, it, it's always hard to tell a story about um, mental illness and, and, and do it well. But I think this movie does it thoroughly and sensitively. So it doesn't feel like it's trying to. It, I feel like it's a very accurate representation, I feel like, of mental illness and, and of anxiety and, and, and the stuff that um, the main character is going through. The main character's name is Will. Um, and and that, that's a credit to the writing and, and, and stuff like that. And I think what's also important is that by the end of the, I think the, the, the ending of the film is very, very good, is very, very poetic. And what's different than most other films that depict this is it's very, like, hopeful. Uh, so it doesn't just, like, put you in, de in a depressed mood and then, like, leave you there. It's a very hopeful ending, um, which I think is great. Um, although the film is very, I mean, obvious in what it's trying to represent, I don't, I'm not a pretentious film kid, so I don't care. I mean, I am a pretentious film kid, but I'm not that pretentious. Um, uh, so yes, it might be a little bit obvious, but I think what it, it's trying to depict and the stories that it's trying to tell is still very, like it, it's, sure it's, it's not, you know, more poetic and left to the imagination, but it's telling it very accurately and very thoroughly and very, very well. Um, and very accurately, I think. And it's a very important thing that needs to be told. Uh, and it's a very important story, I feel like. Um, I love that this movie kind of shows that, you know, mental illness is kind of like a horror film played out in real life. I think the visuals of this movie are striking and they're horrifying and they're gorgeous. There's many shots that I loved. I love the different editing techniques that are in the film. I love the lighting and the colors and everything. I love the actual monster, the way that that monster was depicted from the look to everything about it, I think was absolutely wonderful. The movie can be a little bit repetitive where it like does the same thing again and again and again. And you're like, let's get to, let's move on a little bit. But those are, those moments are very few. Um, but I think what, what's great about this movie is it's entertaining, it's scary, both in terms of like the real life implications of it, like how you can relate it to your real life, but also just in terms of like its horrorness. Um, and it also informs about mental illness and, and, and diseases and certain stuff like that. Um, and also I think that the, you know, making the movie, making the lead of the movie queer and, and to, uh, having this as a queer kind of love story uh, I think was also a really nice touch and it kind of helps differentiate it from all of the other films that are made that have been like this. So I really appreciated that. Um, overall, I think if you can watch Hypochondria, I think you totally should. It's only about an hour and 30 minutes. So it's not that big of a commitment for you. I think you're going to be, by the way, the performance is also like Zach Villa really brought you in there and and for any Canadians out there every time I looked at him he was giving Carlos from YTV he looks exactly like him but other than that and I mean that's not that was just a funny thing for me uh, but 
I, like his, his performance was just really, really good. And it really sold a lot of the stuff that Addison Hyman was trying to portray. Um, so I would definitely, definitely check it out. I believe it's out now. I'm not hundred percent sure, but check it out when it is out. So my rating, I would give this movie, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I'm going to give it an 8.5. I think it was very good. So that is my review of Hypochondriac. If you've seen it, let me know what you think down below. This is kind of like a non-spoiler review, which this channel doesn't do a lot of, but that's what I'm here for. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below. If it is a spoiler, mark it as a spoiler. There aren't really any spoilery things that happen in this movie, but still, you know, don't ruin, don't, don't be a bitch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.